Hey everyone, I'm Peter, community advocate here at Styra. Joined with me on the call, I have Charlie, developer advocate here at Styra. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, Styra load and performance benchmarks against uh, regular OPA. So Charlie, why don't you get us started and show us what, sh run us through the script that we're gonna be using today. Sure, um, so we've created a, a benchmark script to compare OPA and load. Um, it's quite a simple script really. It, um, after printing out some of the parameters used to start the script, it starts up an OPA instance and waits for it to load in what could be quite a large bundle. It then uses the Grafana K6 benchmarking tool to run um, some HTTP requests against that OPA instance to test its performance. Uh, and then we, we shut down OPA and do exactly the same thing for load. Um, immediately afterwards. And uh, once the test is completed in both cases, it, the results are printed out to the console. Cool, awesome. Sounds simple enough. Why don't you run us through the first test here? Sure. Um, so we've got uh, we've got our script and uh, we need to provide three arguments to it. We The first argument is uh, the OPA bundle we're going to be using. Uh, we're using 400 megabyte when uncompressed uh, data set of our back data set. So lots of users, roles, actions, and resources. Um, and we've we've got a bundle which has been formatted for OPA and one that's been formatted for Styra load. And we also have a series of example queries that we're going to be using during the test uh, to sort of exercise each instance in, in the context of those data sets. So yeah, we can kick it off just now. So yeah, the first thing we see is the different versions of uh, both OPA and load that we're running along with the version of the benchmarking tool, K6. Um, so, Yep, uh, OPA started and the requests um, have been run against it and we can see how many requests per second and the memory that it was using. Uh, now the test is also finished for load as well. So yeah, we can compare and we can see. So we can, looking at the results, we can see that load is doing nearly 13,000 requests per second in the same um, environment uh, where OPA was managing to do about 7,500 requests per second. It's a good improvement there. And um, yeah, obviously in the memory as well, OPA's used nearly seven gigabytes of memory while, uh, while loads used about 1.3 gigabytes. So again, quite a good improvement. Yeah, that, that, that is a really good improvement there. And so if anyone watching wants to run their own benchmark test, how can they, how can they customize this? Yeah, so we have um, a number of example data sets of different sizes that we've generated and are available in our example repo. But if you want to generate your own, we have um, a script to do that for you. So first thing you need to do is describe what you would want your own example data set to look like. So how many users, roles, resources, and actions in an example RBAC scenario would you like to have? Something that's representative for your organization or for use case. Um, and so once you've um, configured the parameters in here, you can run the generate script. And um, we're actually using OPA to generate the uh, the example, uh, the, the bundle of data that's going to be going to be used, and that's saved into the bundle directory, which you can then use to build a bundle for OPA and then convert one for, for Styro load as well. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for running us through that, Charlie, and thanks to everyone watching. See you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you.